I do not remember there being a path in this place the last time we came. You're perfectly right, my child. This passage must have been cleared by the expedition. We should follow it. It looks like... Hey, what's happening here? I could hear you from miles away. Your Excellency, I'm so happy to see you. You arrive right on time to settle this matter. How did you manage to find us in the middle of this swamp? Brother Fidelis managed to reach Eden. He's the one who told us where your camp was. But he didn't leave alone. What happened to Father Aubricus, who was accompanying him? He must be dead, like our other companions. This is all your fault. This is yet more proof that you are not fit to lead such a team. I should be the one in charge. Maybe you should calm down and explain to me what's happening here. This expedition was undertaken with no concern for common sense. We are not equipped to explore this type of place. Our people are disappearing, and all we have found are some falsified writings. Brother Virgil is terrified, which probably explains why he is being so disingenuous. We have made incredible discoveries, and we could find more. You are beyond redemption. I won't waste another second talking to you. If you want to talk to me, Your Excellency, it will have to be without her. How charming. Brother Virgil, what do you want? Brother Fidelis told me that some of your colleagues went missing. Do you know anything about this? They did not go missing. They were killed. It was the wild beasts, the diseases, and let's not forget the savages. We can feel their presence roaming around the camp at night. I am certain that they are responsible for the death of our colleagues. That's strange. There aren't many villages around here. We have been in this region before, and the only native we met was a little insane, but would have been incapable of killing several priests. Those savages may very well have been following us since our departure. We will not be safe on this island until it is entirely converted. I see. So, you haven't tried to find your colleagues? So we can die as well. <laughs> I am not as crazy as Sister Eugenia. Can you explain to me what caused such a quarrel? The reason for it is very simple. It is Eugenia's folly. This woman should never have been the supervisor of our team. The discoveries made in Eden were sufficient, but no. She didn't want to stop the research. She organized this expedition in a hurry, without taking elementary precautions, and now she's accepting as facts the delirious writings we discovered on these tablets without doubting them for even one second. What do you mean? We found some new tablets, allegedly written by Saint Matthias, but their content is so absurd that they were obviously forged. I am certain that the natives must have found these stones before us and modified their content. How would they have done that? The natives cannot write. They must have been helped by an unscrupulous settler. How would I know? I understand your concern, given what happened to your colleagues. But I must also talk to Sister Eugenia. Do as you like, but beware. That woman has plunged into madness. Your Excellency. 
Excellency. I hope you will forgive us for that... scene. My relations with Virgil have always been difficult, but ever since we arrived here, it has been unbearable. I'm afraid we may need an Arbiter. Before anything else, I need to know what led to this situation between you. What would you like to know? For what reason were you quarreling? The expedition itself, I'm afraid. Virgil was always against it, especially under my supervision. For him, our discoveries in Eden were sufficient. They confirmed what he wanted, the rest did not matter. According to him, we should never have continued. And when we found new tablets, it became even worse. Were they also written by St. Matthias? Without a doubt, the handwriting is the same. There are also some patterns, some islander symbols. It's fascinating. But what really angers Virgil is the content we managed to decipher. Our founder explains that he learned a lot from the islanders, something our brother cannot accept. He now persists in saying that these tablets are fake, forged by the natives themselves. Brother Fidelis told me that several members of the expedition have disappeared. Yes, that's why he left along with Father Orbricus to fetch some help. Three more of our colleagues are missing, and I'm not even talking about the ones who fell ill. I must admit that I underestimated the hardships we would encounter. I made a mistake. I should have prepared this expedition more thoroughly. But Virgil's being disingenuous does not help. And no one has searched for those who are missing. I wanted us to search for them, but someone later convinced me that it presented too much of a risk. Along with lack of preparation, our constantly decreasing number, and creatures swarming the area. And by someone, I suppose you mean Brother Virgil. Indeed. I also heard Brother Virgil, and I must admit that, at this stage, it's difficult for me to pick sides. But it's not what matters most. Our priority should be finding those who are missing. Are you sure that you can manage? There are so few of you. Don't worry about it. We're used to this type of thing. In that case, you should start searching at the excavation site. The path leading to it is south of here. You will have no trouble finding it. We left our tools there. Thank you.
May the enlightened protect me in this battle. To my help. And death to the others! The cause of death is no mystery. This man was attacked by one of those large reptiles, a Lawolan. And yet, these iridescent marks on his skin make me think that a stasis spell was cast on him first. He was intentionally immobilized so that he would fall prey to this animal. The cause of death is no mystery. This man was attacked by one of those large reptiles, a Lawolan. And yet, these iridescent marks on his skin make me think that a stasis spell was cast on him first. He was intentionally immobilized so that he would fall prey to this animal. These fang marks are impressive. The poor man didn't have a chance. He must have been attacked by a large reptile, most likely a Lawolan. But what was he doing alone so far from camp? of death is no mystery. This man was attacked by one of those large reptiles, a Lawolan. And yet, these iridescent marks on his skin make me think that a stasis spell was cast on him first. He was intentionally immobilized so that he would fall prey to this animal.
To my help! Death to the others! They are shadowing down our enemies! These fang marks are impressive. The poor man didn't have a chance. He must have been attacked by a large reptile. Most likely a... Lawolan. But what was he doing alone so far from camp? To my help! And death to the other! The body of this man was devoured by beasts, but it happened after he had died. One of the wounds is clearly a knife wound, but alas, it's impossible to know who was wielding it. This poor soul was almost entirely devoured. He must have been killed by swamp animals. Even so, this wound looks different from the others. It looks like a knife wound. Alas, anyone could have stabbed this priest. Both natives and priests carry knives. May the enlightened protect me in this battle! To my health!
This man's death was no accident, nor was it linked to any predator attack. It was caused by a violent strike to the back of the skull with a mace. And it didn't take place here. The marks surrounding the body show that it was moved, most likely to make it seem like he fell to his death. It seems obvious now that these disappearances were orchestrated. All these disguised deaths, these abject crimes. The natives can be violent, but they are not deceitful. I'm afraid that Brother Virgil may have found a way to take control of the expedition. He should be judged for it. Indeed. I think that we should go find this brother and ask for an explanation. Brother Virgil. Your Excellency, weren't you supposed to be looking for our colleagues? Indeed. I regret to say that they are indeed all dead. I knew it. What a waste. Eugenia and her recklessness are to blame for this. I'm afraid someone else is responsible for this. These deaths are not accidental, and yet they were disguised as such. The savages? Their thirst for blood is unquenchable. I knew we should never have come without an escort. Oh, Virgil, would you please stop taking us for fools? The natives had no hand in this. Who else could it be? Someone who desperately wanted this expedition to fail. Does that remind you of anyone? Fine. You unmasked me. But know that my cause is righteous. The Ordo Luminous sent me to keep an eye on this expedition, to ensure that the discoveries we made would not jeopardize our nation or our presence on this island. But the inscriptions on the tablets are a heresy. A dangerous manipulation. Can you imagine what would happen if it was said that our founder listened to the teachings of the natives? But even then, foolish Eugenia accepted these discoveries as truth without any hesitation, without realizing that our entire nation could suffer because of it. So yes, I wanted to scare her. I understand that you might want to protect your nation, but to go as far as assassinating several of your colleagues. Come now. What would you do if someone were threatening the congregation? You cannot make me believe that you would not be willing to kill. You may have already done so, but since you want to avoid using violence, help me convince Eugenia to go back to Eden. My colleagues and I know how to sort through these discoveries. And you will be rewarded, of course. It is undeniable that these discoveries could cause a great upset in Taleme, but he has no right to decide what should be revealed or not. On this island, Cornelia should be the one to decide. Be careful with your accusations, though. 
Eugenia and her colleagues are on edge. We wouldn't want them to start killing each other. Your argument has convinced me. I accept your offer. I knew that someone as pragmatic as yourself would understand me. Here. I will go talk to Sister Eugenia and make sure that she leaves the expedition. Your Excellency, you're back. So, what news do you bring? Alas, I have found the bodies of your colleagues. They're all dead, most likely killed by the natives. This is... this is awful. How horrible! The islanders probably only wanted to defend a sacred place, but you could have anticipated their reaction. Brother Virgil was right. This expedition was poorly prepared, without a plan or any real precautions. <sighs> It is all my fault. I should have hired some guards and gathered more information about the dangers in this area. I suppose I have no choice but to resign. Virgil will take over the research and disregard anything that does not fit his narrative, without regard for the truth. Perhaps he isn't wrong about these inscriptions. Maybe. Did you know at one point he was so vehement that I suspected him of being responsible for it all? Anyway, all that's left for me to do is to leave with those who want to return to Eden. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Goodbye, Sister Eugenia. Be careful on the way back. I managed to convince Eugenia to return to Eden and leave you in charge of the expedition. Excellent. Your actions may have saved our beautiful nation. I am most grateful to you. Well, I'll leave you now. Wait. If you do not mind, we still need your help. In the logical part of the tablets we deciphered, there is a mention of a journey northward. It would be that way, deeper into the swamp, that Saint Matthias would have ventured next. We must discover where he went, but our group is so small now. Very well. I will go north and start from the excavation site. But what should I be looking for? Signs of life. New tablets, perhaps. Thank you, Your Excellency. You are a great help.
You'd have to be insane to want to live in such a place. 
Even a saint would want to stay dry.
May the enlightened protect me in this battle! <laughs> Go 